see the other one, it's already taken. I think you see those Indians. Eh? Yeah. They have taken that one away. Yeah, the other behind one has. So guys, this is a good investment. Next, you're not vegetable. <laughs> guys, check on the buildings. Yeah, that one is available. Should we know can check? We can. Let's check on one. Go. Hi guys, welcome back on this beautiful channel. It's me, your girl Shami Vlog VG. And guess what? I'm in Kampala, Uganda, in Lugowa. Lugowa is one of the richest neighborhoods in Uganda. And yeah, I'm going to take you through Lugowa. Come with me. Hope you love it and enjoy it. And of course, I'm not alone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's with UG Connect. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Lugowa is uh, these are our neighborhoods. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to be taking car around the Goa to know the place. So we've started our vlog around the quality supermarket. Yeah, that's quality. Or mall. This is the this is one of the biggest uh, biggest supermarkets in the world. Actually, I think it's the only one. It's the only big supermarket. Yeah, in the As you can check, we are actually behind it, right? Yep. Yeah. So right now, we are going to go on an adventure of Lugowa. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think you can see the area is very busy. The area is very busy actually. Yeah, super very busy. busy. Super. Lots of us in Lugowa. Yeah. That shows you it's a very nice neighborhood. Eh? Mm. Because it attracts a lot of foreign people. Yeah. And also this place has a lot of a lot of supermarkets, uh, restaurants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are many. We have, um, we have, a, we have a caramel. caramel. There is another one next to caramel. Mm -hmm. There is a cafe lounge, something. Yeah, and there's also Blizz where we were. Yeah, Blizz is a, it's it's a, a bar. bar. It's a bar. Yeah, but they also have nice bites. Nice bites? Yeah. Okay, it was actually my first time going to Blizz. Yeah, go there at night. You love it. Unfortunately, <laughs> I'm not a nightlife person. Yeah. For real. I'm not in my life okay. yeah. There's some of us who enjoy sometimes, not daily. Mm, <laughs> yeah. You know, there's a meme that's going around that <laughs> the Ram is a Muslim. So that is it. <laughs> wow, I love the road. It's super Lovely. clean. Hmm. Yeah, it's neat. There's a lot of greenery around. Yeah. And also have nice <laughs> it's uh, but it's good because it's not water doesn't log inside yeah. flood inside mm. drainage That's right. so, so on our left we have african bible university african so, bible university yeah for those who want to, to study theology you can come and study from here bible studies actually yeah so you connect if you can compare lugowa as the richest neighborhood in uganda with the match in the Chizu, which one is? Uh, Lugowa is better now. <laughs> For real? <laughs> Dream your challenge. Lugowa <laughs> is much, much better than Mark in the Chizu. Mark in the Chizu is in the, style, is in the calibers of Muyenga. Those are old rich neighborhoods. Yeah. When you go there, hmm. the roads are in a very poor state, sorry state. The buildings are old style. Yeah. These are the new rich neighborhoods coming up with modern houses. Modern the roads planning, are roads. super clean. Yeah, so for me, I feel like the is much, much more better. Lugowa is much better. Yeah. Guys, I personally, I go with Lugowa. Mm. Because at least it's super clean. <laughs> the roads are clean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we know we are next even to, to Munyonyo, Busiga. Yeah. Mm. I'll, I'll start going to Munyonyo one of these days. Mm. I haven't got a vlog there. Actually, me, I was, I, I've spent all my life in Munyonyo. Munyonyo. Yeah, so I know Munyonyo inside out. Wow. Munyonyo has developed in Latulaba. Mm. All the developments in Munyonyo is the same Latulaba. Most places used to be bushes. So why have we? Why are we walking on this side? Are we supposed to walk from this side? Yeah, we are supposed to walk on this side. The only challenge why you feel that you're not safe. It's because the road was poorly constructed. Uh -huh. They didn't think about pedestrians. Mm. They made this road only for, for cars. Vehicles. They were supposed to put, put pavements for pedestrian lanes, bicycle lanes, but we are all sharing the same road. Mm. That's why you feel unsafe. 
but you are also supposed to walk on this side where we are because you're supposed to be seeing the car in front of traffic. you oh unlike walking on the other side in case a car is to knock you you will not get time to run away because yeah, you're not, you seeing. not seeing it but from sure. this side you can see that hey, this driver is not stable no, mm. it's true. You know, I'm using some Luganda words because I'm failing to get the English terms. <laughs> hey guys, English is not vegetable. <laughs> uh, but but so anyway. this place really looks beautiful. Yeah, but so anyway, really. English is not our mother tongue. It's not vegetable in yeah. shorts. Yeah. Um, and actually, a lot of nice cars this side. You yeah. be you be. Oh! Very much. No, that's a brand new car. Yeah, it's, it's I think the latest is at uh, UBQ. Q. Whoa, I saw that one, but I saw it on a VT. I saw you big. But it is a, a fuel economy car. I don't know why people always tease the cars. Eh? <laughs> but they are very nice cars, by the way. Because they are economical. Check on that, guys. Like for fuel, uh -huh. they are good. Yes. <laughs> you know, like these tax men really bully people with boutiques. Yeah? <laughs> There's a time yeah. they told a lady, "Never strum can account paka yumbako." Really, that was like traumatizing someone. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Mm. I was like, whoa, hey. So guys, as you can see, people come to jog here. Yep. Hi. Well done. Yep. People do come to jog around, just feel. Those are residents. Yeah, the residents. Yeah. But even me, there's a time I used to come and walk here. Just walk every morning. By the very soon, I think they'll be putting a, a gate in this neighborhood and it will only be accessible to, to residents. Yeah. Whoa, that's just not like, good. Just like upright. I don't know why upright. They were building gates, two gates, mm. on the other side of Ontario Road and also on the other side of the express in, uh, in the old Ontario Road. I haven't been gates there. Be access to the estate upright. I don't know why they stopped. So, this is Jehovah Witness. Yeah. You know about them? Yeah, the Jehovah's. Yeah. These people, when what I know about them, like if they you show interest, mm. even a small interest that yeah you giving them time to listen to them, mm. every day they'll be coming to your door. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Every day they come and give you the word of God free of charge. But yeah, that is it. Yeah. I haven't been to Akrait. To Akrait. Yeah. Upright is another place you need to explore. So much development is happening there. I think right now, Upright is the hottest developing neighborhood in Uganda at the moment. Yep. The initial entities are both land there, they are building houses, big people in government. It's an and estate you buy and build. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's good. Some, some sell finished houses, mm -hmm. some buy and build. Actually, the, the only men cars here. Mm. I haven't seen our female cars, <laughs> the VTs. <laughs> <laughs> so let me tell you some information about you here. Mm. Okay, the amenities yeah. in Lugoa. I mean, I think we, we've saw the video at the quality. You've seen the quality market. market. The mall, there are many restaurants around. There are many shops around. So it's like a shopping center. Mm. And then... Lugoa has got a lot of international schools, very good and expensive international schools. When our son was starting school, we wanted to take him to an international school, so we came here at Galaxy. Ah. <laughs> hey. You're not alone, I know people who came here. <laughs> you <also came> here. <laughs> <laughs> he came at Galaxy here. This yeah. is one of the international Guys, schools. the school is just there. It's we really came. beautiful. And we came on Boda Boda. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever been here in the morning? Hey. You know the traffic that's here? Ah, you got big cars. Eh? Big cars. Hey. No jokes, so guys. For us, we came during holiday time before school started. Mm. Ah, we went inside, 
Now, upon seeing the fish structure, mm. I looked at my wife and I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is not our caliber. Yeah. <laughs> we need to get another spoon. <laughs> Guys, if you have your money and you're ready to spend it, that's the best school for you. US dollars. That's around 4M. 5,000? Mm. Not 4M. 1,000 is 3. 1,380? 380. 380. 5,000 is like 20 million or 18 million Ghanaian shillings. Hey. Hey. Okay. That's for semester. And I think these guys have like... Uh, like four semesters in a year. In a year. So, so you pay like 20 pay, times four. You pay 20,000 US dollars. 20,000 US dollars is like 78, around 78 million Ghana shillings. 70 or 80 Guys. million Ghana shillings. Oh my God. <laughs> Guys, that's the school. So that's cool behind us. <laughs> <laughs> that school is not vegetable. <laughs> They're supposed to pay for other expenses. Yeah, other expenses. yeah. And for them, their uniforms, you have to get them there. Yep. Books there. Mm -hmm. Pencils there. Mm -hmm. Stockings there. Everything. <laughs> they actually even have beautiful. like a type of shoes they want for their students. So mm. <laughs> you do connect, you're not vegetable. <laughs> Guys, check on the buildings. Yeah, that one is available. Should we know can check? We can. Let's check and show the people. I think it's can available. Two, eh? Yeah, the last time we checked, the, the gate wasn't on. Yeah, yes. The cars. So guys, fingers crossed. We want to check out this nice building. Oh. Guys, check on those cars. This place, oh my god. Yes. Yeah. So, guys, these are just staff quarters. Oh my god, the International School of Uganda. Uganda. That's now, our international school. This one is very expensive. I told you Galaxy is expensive. Mm. But this one. <laughs> and it even has a lot of students because they have a lot of buses. Yeah. A lot. Mm. So guys, this is the international school of Uganda. Yeah. And that's the school. Yeah, here you can see when whites coming out, the kids are there. Yeah. Yeah, they are trying to go from this yeah. I think it's the parking space for the uh, Really? I, one time I asked the security guards mm. and they told me they, they, they want to rob the place to something like the bar and restaurant, lounge, yeah? something like that. Yeah, because in most cases I see that bus is parked there. They thought it's the parking lot. Yeah. Buses have a, a big parking space. Now. Guys, we're going to work hard, and one day, one time, our kids will be here. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. International schools. Yeah. So, what's your take on international schools? International schools are good because when you study in an international school, you can fit anywhere in the world. Yeah. If your child is in an international school here, yeah. if you relocate to anywhere around the world, Mm. They can't struggle. Yeah, you yeah. can't struggle. Get used to the new system. Because mm. international school, they have one curriculum. Mm. The Cambridge, or? yeah. Is it one? Is it one they they have Cambridge, Harvard, and what? Yeah, you'll find the curriculum is everywhere you go, as long as it is an international curriculum. Mm. So our son is doing Cambridge. Uh, that's good. We took him. We took him to. I can. To, <laughs> we took him to an international school yeah. which is affordable. That's for good. Us. Yeah. But we started in high gear coming I'm here. I'm telling you, 
you're not alone because actually even as we tried Galax, uh -huh. we went there. I don't know what happened, no, but we didn't go back. We ended up at Kampala Kindergarten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So guys, we are still in Luvoa. Hope these houses are full. The one of ours in the shop? Mm. No. Let's check on the trees. They are not full. I don't know why people have not. They were doing it there. Yo. Mm. Maybe in the boat. They are not in the country. And they have not got five years. But every time I go there, still the same. You don't see any presence of people living around. Any sign. That's bad. Yeah. That's really bad. So guys, as we told you, this place has most people here are white. As we just seen that car, just see the sunset. And guess what? And we're approaching the NSSF housing project. Guys, it's still beautiful. Uh, just come with us. Hope you love it. Oh my god, it's really beautiful. Love it. Love it. Check on the roads, guys. I, I, think, I think it is the most organized community in Uganda. Yes. Mm. Because even the road standards, mm. the top notch, they have electricity, standby generators, water. <laughs> I just love this place. Eh? Oh my god. I think just it's a person who bought the bed and brought, or do they provide beds? I don't think they furnish them. They don't furnish, yeah, because last time we checked. So guys, these are the NSS safe housing projects. If you really want a detailed inside tour of these properties, go check out on Connect. Check out on my channel. We both have these houses, the interior of these buildings actually. So. The place is beautiful, good roads. The planning is urban. Urban, international. Yeah, the roads are very neat. Yeah. It's a quiet neighborhood. It's a quiet neighborhood. They have swimming pools. Yeah, for those who are into Airbnb business, you can come and buy an apartment here. And then you sit on Airbnb. Even if you're not here to stay, in case you live in the diaspora abroad, you buy it. You list it on Airbnb, you just need to get a caretaker. Yeah. Even if you're Ugandan, that like you can afford to buy, you buy and then list it on Airbnb. It makes money for you. That's, that's a an investment. Yeah, that's a charity. Why do they put these sharp things? Because people steal the lights. <laughs> Uganda. Hey! They climb and steal those lights. Those lights are expensive. I fear Uganda. <laughs> yeah. That's why there are hooks there. <laughs> Oh my god, and it's really designed very well in everything. 200 meters, they have a crossing, a zebra crossing. Yeah, it was there up just few meters, few meters. Now you see the other one, it's already taken. I think you see those Indians, yeah. They have taken that one away. Yeah, the other behind one task. This is a good investment. If me, if I had money, I would buy a lot of properties and list them on Airbnb because. With Airbnbs, you just list on the internet and get clients. Yeah, and even this rent it out monthly. I don't know. Airbnb is better. They are giving me the money I want. Yeah. With Airbnb, you can make more money than renting. Okay, they are giving you 600 USD. Per month? Per month. That's little money now. That's little money. With Airbnb, you can make $5,000 a month. Yes. This place is in a good location. Mm -hmm. Here, besides providing accommodation, you're selling lifestyle. Oh. The name of the place. Oh my God. You know why most people are buying in Accra? Mm -mm. Especially around Hampam Villas? No. Because, because they, they are buying because of Hampam Villas. Yeah, you're and right. Ham, and Ham is selling a lifestyle. You get <laughs> so guys, I'm going to check out one of these days. There's an, Air, an Airbnb in Seguku that I'll check out. Hope you love that. <laughs> mm. Yeah, there's someone who has an Airbnb there, my uncle. He yeah. really wants it. 
Airbnb yeah. business is really good. Yeah, it's good. You go rent a house, you make an agreement with the landlord that you're going to sublet it. Mm. If the landlord allows you, you can continue. If they don't allow you, you look for another property. You mm. get most landlords are okay with it. Yeah. For you as long as you're paying them their money. You rent a house of one million per month, you furnish it, and that house is going to bring you five million per month. You can earn shillings. That's like one thousand five hundred dollars. You just have but to put it on website. You rent it three hundred dollars per month. Now, after six months, you've already got your money. You've invested for the Airbnb business. I think I should make a video telling people about Airbnb. this side hustle, the part, this passive income. Yeah. Because not many know about it. It's true. Yeah. And uh, most Kenyan YouTubers are doing that, by exactly. the way. Most of them, they have Airbnbs. Even me, when I get money. I'm going to invest in that. Even you, when you good. get money, I'll if, you get, invest. if you get something like 10 m, mm. look for a good house mm. in a good location, mm. and then furnish it. Listen, this is on Airbnb or CDK, thirty dollars per day, or what twenty dollars or fifty dollars, depending on the kind of um, furnishing you put in. Mm. Now, when you get a house in this location. This location is very prime. It's next to Kampala and then Tebe. It's in between Kampala and Tebe. Yeah. So you will sell off. And the view itself at yep. night. Yep. It's beautiful. Exactly. Security wise. Security wise. People don't worry about security. It's a well guarded area. It's a well. It's like on that wall. Yeah. Super huge. Yeah. It's a well guarded area. So it's the issue of security in Lugoa. You, you don't have to worry about that. Is that the guy we found as we were coming? Yeah, then I was jogging. <laughs> so he passed like this. Yeah. Yeah, he's done. Check on the shoes. Yeah, Actually, yeah. I was trying to see his shoes because <laughs> they were shiny. Yeah? Like, oh my but God. He, he has cheated himself. He's been looking because, imagine. <laughs> because it's a hill, maybe. Guys, yeah. check on our view. Just give that. When you have a house here, mm. every evening you get off work, you come here to relax. I think this is also something which is beautiful. You can just take a walk around yeah, the it's estate. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. The environment, the trees, the plants around. Yeah, it's and really the other is. Side, a lot of trees, eh? Yeah. You get to like I'm very sure at li at night mm -hmm. there are a lot of lights there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the lights. This neighborhood lights up very, very. Nicely at night. There's a new person who owned a house there. Mm. That's why you can see that. that house. Okay. Hello. How are you? Please come around. She has gone. Tomorrow she'll be around. Thank you. I think she works there in the day shift. Check on the drainage, guys. This is the only place in Uganda you can walk mm -hmm. on sandals and you don't have dust. Exactly. <laughs> I'm other telling other you. Now. Which other place? This to me, this is the first like place. Kololo. Yeah, Kololo. They are yeah. clean, but the roads are old. Yeah, Kololo, yeah. they are clean, but the roads are. are clean, mm. But the roads are very old. They just need repair. Mm. Oh. I, I love this place. So, so guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've watched to this very end, yeah, yeah of course, this was it a tour of Lovoa, the most beautiful neighborhood in Kampala. You can actually see Wakiso, not Kampala. Yeah, Wakiso. <laughs> so, I remain Shami vlog and UG Connect. Make sure you connect to this video, uh -huh. like it, share if you can. Subscription is totally free, free? guys. Hello. Yeah. Bye bye for now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes these people wonder what. So, we are chasing.